So project two is going to be done primarily in Illustrator and Photoshop. Illustrator is the layout program. Photoshop is where you'll be doing your images. So we're going to do the document setups for that. You're going to have a 4x6 flyer, an 11x17 poster, and the Instagram mock-up. So we'll look at that as well. You don't need to do a document setup for the Instagram mock-up. That's going to happen in Photoshop using the mock-up file that I've given you. We'll review that in a later tutorial. But let's first get the flyer set up. So in Illustrator, we're going to go to Create New. And you can go to the Print tab if you like, but you don't really need to because we're going to be doing a, a custom setup here. So in your preset panel, you're going to choose inches. And we'll do for width, we'll do four. And for height, we'll do six. So that's automatically going to land at portrait orientation, but you're free to do landscape. So you can do a six by four. So wider or tall, that's up to you. Um, if you decide after this document setup, I'm going to go back to orientation. If you decide after this that you'd like to change it, then I'm going to show you how you can do that as well. And we're going to do three artboards because we have the front of the flyer. It's a double-sided flyer, so we have front and back. That's two artboards. And then we need a third artboard for your references so that we adhere to the school's Copyright policy, we still have to add our references in for uh, the images that we find and anything else. Okay, so we'll do three artboards. And of course, we're going to maintain our use of bleed. So a flyer is a print item, so it's definitely going to have bleed. So we'll click once there. And as long as this was linked, they're all going to go to 0.125, which is that standard 1 8 of an inch. And in advanced op options, you don't need to worry about those. We have everything here that we need to have taken care of. So four by six, portrait, three artboards, and 1 8 of an inch bleed. And we'll see how that looks. Okay, so here are your artboards. Now, Illustrator works with artboards, InDesign works with pages, Photoshop works with a canvas. So when you need to adjust these, let's say you wanted to make the front uh, portrait and the back landscape, you can adjust your artboards and they'll fall in succession of their numbers. You'll see what I mean in a moment. We're going to go down here to the artboard tool. So if I click that, now that's going to allow me to change. I can move the artboard. I can change the size of the artboard if I want, holding scale. I'm going to undo that. I can make a copy of it holding shift, click and drag, and I have yet another artboard. Um, so that is the artboard tool that allows us to do that. Now, if I wanted to rotate the artboard, I can, I actually can't rotate it per se. If I click on the rotate, we just lose that, the hold on the artboard. But we can change the orientation up top here. So I can change it to landscape and then move it so that it's not overlapping. So this would be if I wanted a landscape front and a portrait back, or if I needed to change them both, I would click on the one I wanna work on, click up here, change to landscape, and so on. And then this, of course, this third one is my references page. So the artboards act as images or objects in a way, but they really are, um, you can think of them as the pages, but this being the front, the back, and then your reference page. So that's the flyer. I'm gonna go back to where I had them originally. And then just be sure to save this 
So that would be your four by six flyer document. Now let's do the poster. So we'll do new command N. And this is an 11 by 17, which is actually tabloid. So I can go right to my print tab and I can choose tabloid. I'm going to go to inches here just so we see it in familiar view. So there's our 11 by 17. And posters are typically, especially posters that are advertising something, are typically vertical. Their portrait. So I'd recommend not doing your poster in landscape unless you can rationalize that. Um, but advertising posters are usually vertical for a few reasons, but um, mainly because of where they get posted. So if this was going to be posted on a, the door in a store or on a telephone pole, um, the vertical orientation is ideal. Where if you did landscape and you were posting that on a telephone pole, you know, it would wrap too far around. So posters, usually you'll, you'll see them, they're vertical, they're portrait orientation. So on this one, you'll need two artboards because you're going to have your references and just a front. You typically don't have double-sided posters unless you're providing the option for a bilingual poster, but we're just going to be doing a front and uh, then we'll have that references page. So 11 by 17, two artboards. We'll turn the bleed there on. So remember to use the bleed. And we'll be talking about that in future tutorials on Illustrator. And we'll create. So there's our, our front and then the backside for references. And you'll want to save that as your 11 by 17. Now the third part of the project is the uh, Instagram mock-up. So I'm just going to open that file here. Okay, so what you'll be doing is working with this file and we'll go into further detail on this in another tutorial but you'll be populating your graphic that you create and you can create this in Illustrator. You can even create it in Photoshop. You would be populating the area that's black with whatever graphic you create. And then you'll want to change your caption. So you'll be writing a caption to, of course, support and reinforce the image that you're going to have. And to do that in Photoshop, you'll just click on, double click on the T icon in that layer and that will let you highlight the portion that you would want to change. Okay, so you have that set up. Um, this file has been given to you. The main thing will be bringing your graphic in and I'm gonna show you a couple of tips on how you can do that um, once you've got the graphic made. But essentially when you make the graphic, you could go into Illustrator and you could do any square graphic or in Photoshop and do it square and then you'll be able to bring that in. So we'll be looking at that in the future but those are your essentially your three deliverables for this project.